Good morning guys. So Kim and I thought we'll take this time out and search for one food that we haven't had in a while. For some reason we've been craving this one meal since we've left Segong and I mean you guys are probably wondering, you can get this meal anywhere, why do you have to get it in Da Nang? I guess it's because we're a little bit homesick. Why, why not though? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, definitely in Vietnam, a lot of the dishes here are, of course, Vietnamese. Um, and so we've just been recycling those dishes and today, just super casual guys. Um, it's both of us back again. <laughs> if you watched the previous two vlogs, you would have seen that we covered a solo vlog each. So the first time we both vlogged uh, individually, like solo, and definitely, more harder than I would have anticipated. How did you think you went? How did, did you have fun? I mean, we both watched over each other's footage and um, we quite, to be honest, I thought it was fun watching Kim's day. But um, for my day, I was, I was quite nervous, to be honest. I think it was because I relied on Kim a lot and I didn't think this, but we kind of bounce off each other pretty well. Yeah, that's true. So it's like this, for example, when you finish, then I jump in and we always have something to say. It's kind of, um, you're used to having that person there, that's for sure. I, I also struggled and I would kind of refer to we and then kind of forget that, oh, yeah. it's a solid vlog, so and then I would correct myself and be like, oh, I. And it's definitely uh, made, us, made me appreciate you more, of course. Sometimes you lose <laughs> sight of it and um, it was a really nice challenge, I would say. Yeah, they, no one ever tells you this as a content creator, but yeah, it gets quite hard knowing what to do and kind of planning out your day and what to kind of review not a review but kind of discover i guess that's true it's easy to do something just really basic but sometimes we found that it hasn't really worked well with in terms of uh how many people are actually engaging with us so it's been a challenge to kind of work out what to cover um but yeah i really had a great day i was really nervous when i was doing my solo vlog but as the day progressed on I think I felt a bit more comfortable, especially when it's like kind of walking, it made me feel more comfortable. Yeah. The eating shots were hard, because so used to having you there and kind of just, like you said, bouncing off each other. So I'll kind of eat and be like, okay, now what do I say? Yeah. <laughs> and I kind of regretted some scenes as well, because I was thinking, damn, I really wish Kim was here to actually try this, because she would have loved the bun me I had in my vlog day. And that bun me was amazing. Yeah, it looks really good. Your vlog was really fun as well. Yeah, uh, mm. it was a really fun day. I would say. Yeah, and I'm not sure if it was a coffee that day to start my day, but I was cranked. I felt like I was speaking like a thousand miles a minute, and I was just yeah, just having fun with it, I guess. But I didn't realize that what I was saying, and I was just saying anything and everything, and trying to get as much footage as possible for you guys to see uh, and enjoy. And for me, I found that I was more critical of myself. So. I, usually when we film, we don't really look over the footage after. Mm. We just check the audio maybe, for example. But in my case, when I was solo vlogging, I was checking everything and kind of just umming and ahhing at myself. Kind of even being disappointed. And then I realized, okay, this is taking the fun out of it. So let's just not be critical and just whatever I film, go with that. Yeah. But that was something I just kind of had to accept and not be kind of self-conscious about. So um, I'm glad I had that experience. I'm glad we had that experience because it was yeah. nice to appreciate each other again. Uh, not again, but like kind of just realize the impact that the other person has in these vlogs, a couple of vlogs. Yeah. And it's fun also watching over each other's day. So well. that was fun. And it's also, a bit of yeah, it's really fun. Oh, it's exciting actually, to see us kind of transition into more of like a day-to-day -day vlog. I know some of you guys may enjoy it, um, us going to Michelin restaurants, the whole 36 of them. <laughs> but I mean, it's fun being able to show you guys a day in our life and what we do, because I mean, not everything's as spectacular as, yeah, as, you, know, you, see as you see it. Of course. That's yeah, sometimes true. we have off days, sometimes we have like bad days, gloomy days as well as you guys oh, yeah. seen in the weather. But I mean, today is amazing. Yeah. But yeah. Well, it's been changing a lot lately, so. It has. Hopefully it still stays uh, really exciting today. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm quite hungry. Yeah, I'm really hungry. So it is the evening. We thought we'd just grab a drink first before we eat. Yeah. Alright, let's head off. Yeah. Oh. Alright, as Kim's paying for the drinks, I might make our way out of here. But yeah, so this dish that we have been longing to try, actually not longing to try, but we haven't had it in a while, 
is Hotel Namyang, which is the hotel noodles with a bunch of offcuts. And I believe this dish originates from Cambodia. Yeah. Cambodian. And it made its way obviously to Vietnam. And I mean, we love this dish. So this dish, a lot of you guys might not know, you guys are probably understanding, well, your understanding of Vietnam is there's a lot of pho or bum boy, which is the spicy beef noodle soup. But I can guarantee Ho Deal is one of the biggest meals here sold in Vietnam. Oh yeah, it's definitely an underrated meal. And it's so nice to, yeah, try it again. We found a decent restaurant, so a yeah. pretty good reviewed one. So, yeah. just head on in there. Let's go. So both ordered uh, different type of variations. So Dion's got the special with soup. Yep. Now I've just gone for the kind of basic one, Nam Yang, with uh, dry. Dry always comes with soup on the side. Yep. Just blistering hot dog over the top. To go with it. So you don't pour it in or anything. You just kind of eat it dry and then have a bit of soup separately on the side. Ooh. And my one comes with inside. There's prawns, there's pork slices, there's liver. There's wontons, beef rolls, and then demo, which is the pork kind of crackle. Mm -hmm. And then you got the hotel yai, which is the thicker kind of hotel. A little bit chewier, which, I mean, I love this kind of noodles. Yeah, mine's quite similar. The only difference is I don't have the wontons, and of course yeah. I don't have soup. Um, but the best part, definitely, about this meal is the demo, like you said. So the deep fried which oh, gives it that crispy crunch. Crisp. And it has whole, so much flavour. Oh, I'm gonna put some chilli on the side. Do you want some chilli? Yes, please. Oh. So she has said to us to try the um, garlic, the pickled garlic. It's really nice in this. And I do believe it does add a little bit but more sweetener. Sweet and sour, I guess. It's pickled, obviously. But noodles are really stuck together. So the last couple of days you would have seen in Kim's vlog, it was raining quite a lot. Yeah, so monsoon season has started here in Da Nang. So usually it starts about September, which is just right now. We're about mid to the end of September. Um, and it's kind of brought us new challenges that <clears throat> we kind of forgot about. So now that we are, we've been in Da Nang, um, almost six weeks, we are, have been looking to leave. So we have intended to leave in the next couple of days. Um, but there are things we haven't finished off. So for example, Bana Hills. Yes. We uh, have kind of struggled to know what's the best day to go because the weather's been very unpredictable. So if you watch my solo vlog, that vlog, um, it didn't forecast that it was thundering or raining. Even when it was thundering and raining, I checked the weather again and didn't actually say that. So we don't really know exactly. If we should just kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> wing it, yolo it. Um, but the next concern is also um, heading from one location to another because, as you guys know, we have Bluey, our bike, and all our belongings with us. Yeah. And we usually film on journey days, so it can be dangerous and it may be uneventful too. Yeah, to be honest, the weather here is so unpredictable. It is so bipolar, like Kim was mentioning. And I really don't want to be stuck in the rain even though it might be a little bit eventful, I really don't want to be stuck in the rain where it would jeopardize us, you know, lo losing our camera and our laptops and all. And along with that, I don't think it would be a fun experience for you guys to watch how, you know, dramatic or not dramatic, but how, how kind of upsetting it is getting stuck out in the rain, especially in Vietnam with no shelter out on the roads. I think, yeah. The main concern for me is that it would just be so dangerous because it's not just rain, it's monsoon, so it's really, you know, there's thunder to expect, um, a lot of strong winds, so it is, we're very vulnerable, you know, when we're out there and we don't have any wear. Mm. Oh, 
have people <laughs> yeah it's just good but the thing that i noticed is like the dry noodles are kind of all stuck together mm. so for me it's a little bit harder to eat i like it i really like this meal and i miss i miss having it i don't know everything in it it just can't kind of complement itself mm -hmm. the depth mo the uh, pork crackling Every time I eat it and then crunch into it, it tastes so amazing. It explodes with that kind of crackling taste. Yep. And it's got the ingredients we love. So we love quail eggs and you know, your liver. Mm. So it's good. Yeah. How's the soup? The soup is tasty. Very. Usually I find oatmeal in Vietnam a little bit sweet, but nah, this is savory. It's yeah, nice. that's true. That's what I'm worried about because a lot of times we've had hotu nam yang in particular. So the difference between normal hotu and hotu nam yang is. Nam yang is, tends to be more sweeter and sometimes when we have had it, it's a little bit too sweet um, for our preference. So today is just perfect. It's so mm. savoury and tasty. And it's a perfect dish because no matter how hot it is, you can have it dry or soup. Yeah. Mm. Um, the second issue, concern I should say, no issues for quick is that our visa is kind of for vietnam is kind of ending soon so we are on the five-year visa because you can in australia you can get the five-year visa if your parents are you know born in vietnam yeah but the condition of that visa is that in a period of time you can only stay for six months so when we came back from australia that was april of this year and we are now approaching almost october yeah so we do need to renew the visa at some stage we initially, we currently are still considering um, doing a border run to Laos and getting that visa stamped yeah. to then refresh the six months. But once again, at this stage, the weather has made it a little bit tricky in terms of um, the days that we have set to do these things or to do these activities or excursions or relocation it hasn't really gone accordingly. So each, we notice every location we've kind of stayed longer than we've actually initially planned to um, because of these weather conditions and because of challenges of riding you know bike from a to b yeah and as you mentioned that the weather is quite bad and as you guys would have seen traveling to delac and even from delac the weather conditions were horrendous i mean we we're going up mountains and i'm scared that once we go over to laos it's going to be the kind of the same terrain oh yeah and i really don't want to put us in that predicament where you know it could be life burning yeah so the alternative is to kind of do it through a bus but we're still considering our options because to do the border run you still need to get your visa here in the Laos embassy in Da Nang mm. you can only get out of Hanoi, Da Nang and I believe uh, Saigon so oh. that's a decision we kind of have to figure out soon and it kind of raised the questions of we kind of forgot about monsoon and how severe it is up here in central yeah and should we kind of continue the journey of you know south to north of Vietnam finish it off or for this time being should we jump out temporarily um, you know, it is also an option we did openly speak about and haven't come to terms yet. So you guys kind of let us know, you know what your thoughts are. Are you enjoying content at the moment? Would you like to see something a little bit different just you know, top of the time being? Or what's your thoughts? Help us out. Yeah. And with that being said, if you guys have any plans of traveling to Vietnam anytime soon, if you're thinking about traveling to Da Nang in particular, or even to Vietnam or certain places, and you have any questions, that you want to ask us definitely put it in the comments i mean we're, we're so happy to answer these questions and along with that being said da Nang at the moment it is kind of bipolar with the weather so i mean if you're here to have a vacation a short vacation i'm going to say the weather is going to be yeah quite bad and just, i would say probably try to delay it for some time yeah definitely i think it's september all the way up to about november i believe or um, is monsoon so it's it's normal it happens every year but I guess it's something we didn't really counter for we've been through monsoon seasons but here in central it seems to be a little bit more hectic I mean I'm not sure if that's influenced or uh, whatever by the, you know, the typhoon the recent typhoon so yeah let us know your thoughts guys <laughs> That was our lunch for today and really casual day and really incredible meal as well, I'd say. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's time today, but it's starting to pick up now. There's a lot of people coming in and getting their dinner, <laughs> even though it's our lunch. Yeah, yeah. the weather is, is kind of slowly changing. I can see that it's getting more windy. It's around there, that 
Yeah, to be honest, I think we're gonna try seek shelter soon because I mean, I feel like it's just gonna rain down on us and it's unpredictable right now. <laughs> so we might end it at that. Yeah, guys, let us know what your thoughts are if you enjoyed this kind of style of vlog. Something a bit different. We've been trying new things out as you would have seen in the last kind of couple of vlogs. Um, and yeah, we will see you guys in the next one. Yeah,